All right, Shaholics, welcome back to another episode. And uh, I'm sorry, it's been, it seems like quite some time since my last video upload. And it's been about probably about two weeks since I last fished because of this right here, which really doesn't look like much. But uh, about five days ago, this was entirely wrapped up like a mitten. And uh, for about like a week and a half now, the entire inside length of my finger has been stitched up because I severely crushed it. And I don't want to get into the whole story, but uh, basically it was opened up bad enough where I could see the bone and tendon in my finger and uh, fortunately enough uh, it wasn't severed or broken so I went to the ER they stitched it back up and I can still feel things and I can still move it and hopefully I'm going to be getting the stitches out tomorrow uh, thankfully and uh, we will slowly start getting back into the full swing of things but uh, today we're going to take it easy go to like a, an easier spot to fish uh, and just do some light tackle inshore fishing I'm thinking so I'm going to hop in the truck and I'll see you guys to our first spot where we're going to start off this evening it's already kind of late we're only going to probably have like an hour and a half left of daylight to fish and hopefully catch something so we're going to start off with just a little popper see if there's anything right off this little point here the tide just started going out so the water is still at a higher level and it's looking pretty good with a little bit of current on its way out around this point Oh, just saw some bait jump there. Right where I'm casting, there's a bunch of big boulders that are like right below the surface. Some of them are probably like inches from the surface right now. And that's those boulders that those stripers like to hang out on and wait to ambush a un unsuspecting prey. Hmm. All right, we just took about a couple dozen casts with the little hoagie popper here. No bites, so we're gonna switch up the presentation to a little spook. Something that just swims a little differently along the surface and it might trigger something to eat. All right, we'll take a few casts here with this. If nothing, then we'll make a slight move probably. Oh, there was a bite right there on the spook. All right, it's a good sign. Let's throw it back out there, see if we can get him. I don't think I tagged him, so he could still be lurking right there, looking for his snack that he just missed. Come on, baby. Come on back. Come on, baby. That was cool. Always fun to see a striper of any size blow up on a little top water. Oh, there was another bite. Come on back, come on back. Hmm. Being a little finicky this evening. Now, I hope that was another fish except, um, instead of the same one. Then that would tell us we have a little bit of a concentration here. Oh, we're getting hit on. 
there he is. Oh, I just missed that one. That one I tagged with the hooks. Real lethargic bite. one boom finally real little guy oh my gosh so tiny all right first little guy of the evening send him home All right, well, we threw around the spook for like another 20, 30 casts and not a single swirl or bite. So we're switching back to the popper and I'm thinking maybe the reason we got a bunch of bites on the spook like all around the same time is because some fish moved into the area because of the tide. But uh, we had more bites than catches. So I'm thinking there was just something not right about the spook. So maybe now that there's some fish here, maybe they'll hit the popper. This spot is all about the tide, so. If uh, you're here at the wrong time, the fish won't be here. And also, if you're throwing the, the wrong bait, even if the fish are here, they might, you know, try and feed on that presentation, but they're not gonna really eat it unless you're really matching the hatch or, you know, giving them what they want. What was that right there? Maybe adult bunker? Oh, look at that, look at that. Just got swirled on. Maybe it was bluefish, I'm not sure, but I spooked something that was just swimming right below the surface and it looked they looked pretty sizable. Just got hit hard right there. There he is. Boom. Got him that time. Woo! Jumping striper. <laughs> that was cool. Starting to get worried if we were going to get a second bite. Helps having a fish gripper sometimes when you're <laughs> kind of handicapped and Got you know little poppers and trebles. What's up, little buddy? There you go. Nice pretty little striper. Alright, fishaholic. So I think that is about it. Uh, fortunately enough, we caught a couple fish, had uh, many bites after that last one, but I uh, just couldn't connect. It just seems like the fish here just are a little finicky. But uh, man, did it uh, feel good to finally wet a line again and uh, catch a little something. You know, see my hand was like wrapped up like a mitten for probably like five to seven days. So I, I couldn't go fishing at all. Uh, but uh, as you can see from this video, I got my new drone. So um, over the last like week or so, I, I was able to fly that around and uh, at least like sight fish kind of sight fish, but not attempt to catch any of those fish. Uh, and there's been a good amount of like fall feeding activity on the ocean side. And um, yeah, I just can't wait till I'm back to 100% health so uh, we can just get after it and, and uh, really take advantage of the fall run out here. But uh, thanks for watching anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed, even though this is probably gonna be a shorter video and, and nothing uh, too exciting. But uh, I hope I at least got like some cool B-roll that you know entertains you for a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'll put all my tackle and equipment down in the description below, you know the deal. Uh, please hit that like button. If you did, enjoy this video. <laughs> if not, uh, just don't hit any of the buttons. Uh, but maybe just comment below um, what you wanna see next or what you want, want me to talk about next. And um, yeah, like always, live to fish, fish to live, 
and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.